Spring is finally here, and that brings so many flavors to the table. But will your kids eat them? Beth Bader is the co-author of the Cleaner Plate Club, and she's going to show us two versions of an easy, family-friendly salad, sure to please everyone. I love that, even the kids, because sometimes making them, getting them to eat a salad is a challenge. What are you making today? Now, what's, where are we it starting? Is, now, this is a great salad for Easter brunch. Obviously, mm -hmm. you've been dying eggs. You've got all the extra eggs to use up, so this Leftover is a perfect eggs. way to do Here your, we go. your eggs. I don't have mine dyed. The chickens took care of that for me. <laughs> Now, what are you going to make? It's, it's a, a lemon dressing? It's a lemon dressing, right? Mm -hmm. Lemon and honey, a little bit of vinegar and walnut oil. Okay. And you're all about using local. I am. Local, I am. Local. We'll be at the, the local food expo, which is mm -hmm. tomorrow, and then mm -hmm. in Missouri at Penn Valley Community College the following Saturday. Mm -hmm. You can meet the farmers that grew the greens. So mm -hmm. Gibbs Road Farm will be there. Um, the eggs came here locally from a Coldwater Hill farm. Good friends of ours. How about uh, the lemons? Not so much. <laughs> see? Not so local, but we that's just okay. Don't have the lemon we're going to there, enjoy yeah. them. So you use just one full lemon. One full lemon, right? And then we're going to just use a splash of vinegar with that. Mm -hmm. It does smell like spring. Lemon kind of takes you it there. Does. And the fresh greens are the first thing that spring comes up with. So mm -hmm. it's the first thing that we can get local. I always think of it as spring's way of reminding me I have to be in a swimsuit in two months. <laughs> So. I, I, I tend to avoid that, you know. <laughs> okay, now what are you adding here? A little bit of Dijon mustard. It mm -hmm. counters the sweetness and it makes the salad just pop. So. Is it honey? It is local honey too. Local honey. You can get that at the expo. There'll be some farmers there with local honey, oh, that's eggs, wonderful. greens. And then you just mix it all up? Just, just mixing it all up. You want to whisk in all of these ingredients first before you add the oil. Okay. Because the oil is hard to get to emulsify otherwise. So then last, I always put the oil in. Okay, and what is the oil? This is a walnut oil, which has a nice flavor for a salad. Oh, can you use olive oil in you it? You could or? use okay. olive oil. I like to That's keep around the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now tell us, okay, what is CSA? What is a CSA? Now the, the expo, you'll be able to meet a lot of farmers locally mm -hmm. that do CSAs. CSA is called Community supported agriculture mm -hmm. and it's a partnership between the consumer and the farmer what it does is it allows you to get a subscription to vegetables wonderful and so you could get all of these wonderful things you that can we're get all today. these wonderful like what things. is this that we have here these are microgreens from mm -hmm. gibbs road farm they're delicious i've chopped some mint and put that in there because that can get kids to eat a salad mm -hmm. a lot of times is to add that pop of a familiar flavor and it's just not quite so right. green vegetable okay do you want to go ahead and plate that sure that'd be wonderful sure so a little bit of the dressing. Okay, so what are the two variations on this salad? Right, if your kids will not eat asparagus, if they, they're just a little afraid of the purple potatoes, although they shouldn't be because those are fun. They are fun, they're colorful. You can always swap out fruits. So we've got citrus, and like you said, you can't get mm -hmm. citrus local. People are a little confused. If I eat local, does that mean I can never eat citrus? I drink coffee. You know, I'm not giving right. up and coffee, right? Exactly. So eating exactly. local is about finding the ingredients that you can get mm -hmm. here locally and enjoying those, but still enjoying the things that you can't get locally, too. And so you're adding the potatoes. And again, there's an expo that folks can meet the farmers. They can talk to them where they're going to be um, getting that delicious food. Yeah, right. the KC Food Circle has two Eat Local and Organic Expos coming up. One is tomorrow in Shawnee, the other is a next Saturday at Penn Valley Community College. We'll have all the details for both on our website, kclive.tv. And that looks absolutely delicious. Thank you Thank for stopping you. in. Thanks. Yum. All right, time is ticking down.